Now, Michael and I mentioned we just got back from Red Hat Summit, and we're going to have videos on both of our channels. I have some shorts out there. Michael has some shorts out there. Michael Tunnell channel, Das Geek channel. That's where you're going to want to go subscribe to right now. If you're not subscribed, what's wrong with you? First of all, what do you eat? Cheeto mm -hmm. puffs instead of the hard Cheetos? Weirdo. Uh, so go subscribe. And then we're going to just do a quick recap here, though, of what do some you do? of the like, You like cupcakes instead of muffins? Yeah. Weirdo. What? <laughs> wait, no, wait, no. <laughs> uh, you know, we had such a good time there, Jill. Uh, we asked yeah. about you constantly, by the way. Everybody was like, where's Jill? Where's Aww. Jill? We're like, she's not here. Leave us alone. Uh, <laughs> even when Jill's not there, we still have to answer where's Jill. <laughs> yeah. So uh, you were missed, Jill. Aww. So yeah, hopefully one day... We'll get you to the Red <laughs> Hat awesome. Summit. Um, but Katie and Callie there uh, made the entire trip so enjoyable. Everything was well organized, which is very important for Michael and I, who are very disorganized by nature. So I am incredibly organized when someone tells me what to do. Yes. And so they, unfortunately, <laughs> were very organized and kept us on track. And we got to run into the Jupiter Broadcasting team. That's Yay. right. That was fun. And like what most people thought, we did not have an all-out brawl. <laughs> However, <laughs> of course, we didn't need to have an all-up brawl. We had a tournament. It was yeah. a, it was a tournament. It was a boxing tournament that we had, and of course, I won. And uh, you won. <laughs> oh man, sorry, Aww. that cracked me up. But seriously, we ran into the Jupiter <laughs> team. What? And uh, Michael, I mean, you're a lot of things, but a fighter. I am a fighter. Of, I, I would not choose so my champion. Tough. Let me put it that way. <laughs> you know, like <laughs> <laughs> I volunteer as tribute. <laughs> Um, I would choose Jill over you for sure, because Jill's trained in martial arts. What about, about a hundred Jills? A yeah. hundred <laughs> Jills to take out in the world. For I know a little okay. bit of Ting Sudo. <laughs> Look at her throwing out the real martial <laughs> art words and stuff. That's scary. Yeah. Um, so, you know, we had some fun there, and that's in our videos as well. If you want to see the uh, altercations, the fights with Jupiter Broadcasting, because, you know, it was on. As soon as we saw him, we were like, It was go. on like Donkey Kong. <laughs> like <Donkey Kong. laughs> uh, we got lots of behind the scenes you know with the engineers we got lots of discussions with directors and vps and um so we've got so many awesome interviews lined up that will be yeah. on this show of people coming from uh, incredible industries in fact one of the people michael we ran into uh is responsible for a lot of the development of the cloud itself that was an interesting mm -hmm. interview for sure. Also, this is person who is in in charge with uh, Cove because we talked uh, we talked to him about Cove, and you can find it in my video. There's a small snippet from the the expo hall, but also we're gonna have him come on the show to tell us his story because it is fascinating. We were able to get you know a little bit more time with him, and this was actually kind of funny because once we realized we once we were done with the conversation with him. We then realized that he was leaving and a bunch of other people from the booth were leaving. We had just accidentally timed it perfect. So uh, we, that was great. But we have like the, the stuff you see in my video is going to be like maybe 20% of the awesomeness that we could have put on. But we just haven't, didn't have the ability to do the recording for that long. So we're going to have him come on the show and we're going to talk to him about his his involvement with, you know, creating, helping create the cloud uh, and all the awesome stuff he's doing. And the fact that if you probably haven't heard of Cove because they're pretty new, but they're impactful in a lot of ways. And what's crazy is that the software turns a meme into a reality. And this is not a joke. They make it possible to distribute your memory. So you can have physical hardware that your computer doesn't have directly on it connected to other hardware. I mean, this is more like a data center thing, but still overall it's, it's possible where you can take the RAM of another computer and use it for jobs on another computer. It's crazy. It effectively makes the meme of download, download more RAM a reality. And that's just insane. I think the insane part is not just that you can do it, but they can do it with the latency of RAM on a bus. Yes, I know. Uh. Everyone's going to write in and say that's impossible. And I agree. I sat there and walked through the statistics. In fact, they were shutting down the booth. They packed everything up. They unpacked it all for us and pulled out their third-party reports and everything else showing the speed tests. And Well, we'll talk about it when we have them live, but just uh, incredible there. And so many other awesome things. Michael, what are some highlights for you? I mean, the, let's talk about the keynote because they announced so many cool things. 
Of course, they announced the uh, Rail Lightspeed, which is basically an AI built into the system, and you can do all sorts of stuff. You can use regular natural language to accomplish certain tasks. And if you don't know how to do the task, it will basically tell you through the uh, Lightspeed functionality, which is very cool. Uh, and then also we found out in uh, Ryan's video, you'll see a clip of this, where we found out that it can speak pirate to you. So you can ask it to respond as a pirate, and it will which is just awesome. And uh, they also talked about post-quantum cryptography. So the whole cryptography days of quantum, we're, we're worried about how the quantum state is going to make our existing cryptography kind of worthless. And RHEL has already been uh, set up to be ready for the post-quantum era, which is just fantastic to see because that's a very, like, very important thing and having it already, you know, being worked on is great. Combining that with the rail light speed, with the other AI stuff, the Ansible stuff, the OpenShift AI and all that sort of stuff. There is just a ton of stuff. They made so many different blog posts that they had to create a new blog post to kind of uh, just list all the different things in case you missed it, which they just posted today, I think, on their website. And there's just, that's just the Red Hat keynote. That's just like the one keynote they had. So there's tons of other stuff, and we'll have links to all this in the show notes if you want to get more information. But uh, I think that that all of that is really cool. Then we also have the the stuff from Cove. We already talked about that, but I just want to say, like, go check out that video. It's crazy. Um, but what's the most important thing is that I feel like we were able to interact with so many different people from so many different companies to create these connections. And it's such a great uh, asset to be able to do because we're able to meet people from, um, you know, different types of different parts of the country, different, even different, even different countries and that we would not have access to otherwise. So I think it was a fantastic experience. And the, the overall um, like feel of the thing is kind of like you would imagine it's a super um, kind of commercialized stuff because a lot of these kinds of conferences are. And it is very com like, co like company based, but also it's very community based because after each after each day of the the, the summit, there's also like a reception area in the expo hall. So everybody kind of has like this, you know, get together and that sort of stuff and just talk about whatever you want. The it's really good. The clever thing that they did, Jill, is they actually distributed the food because they had food and bar and, and things after the conference, you know, like drinks Neat. and stuff yeah. like that. They distributed it across the different booths so you had yeah, to go to different yeah. booths to eat and drink and, and get the stuff which created opportunities for people to talk about their product or for you to even see their booth because there's a lot of them there um and which i thought was just really clever it's a small thing at, at the you know when you look at the scale of the red hat summit but it, it made a big difference i think you know creating those connections kind of forcing Absolutely. people to go uh to different yeah. areas and things like that um also, Michael, you forgot probably the most important thing that we were labeled as influencers. Oh, uh, yeah. We were influencers. That, that right. was yeah. uh, hilarious. And so, uh, so what's yeah. funny is that we were talking to people at, at the booths about being podcasters and, and creators. And every once in a while, someone would say, oh, you're influencers. I'm like, sure. I guess. Sure. I guess we are. <laughs> you can find us on TikTok dancing yeah, yeah. and uh, well, you annoying find Ryan people on shopping. TikTok <laughs> dancing, for sure. Yeah. So oh, yeah. Ryan has his live TikTok shop. And uh, he's selling all, all sorts of stuff from um, his Rocktopus to... Uh, I have what, never sell Rocktopus. That is a <laughs> national treasure, Rocktopus is. So. Uh, of course. No, but really, if you want to get the full kind of experience and rundown of what Red Hat Summit is, Michael Tunnell's channel, Das Geek channel, go check those out. Watch those videos and you'll get the full kind of yeah. experience because we tried it's to get a little bit of everything. And yes. mm -hmm. it's it's really a great way to experience the conference. And huge shout out to uh, Michael for all the incredible work editing. So if you don't like yeah, something so in the sure. video, it's Michael's fault. If you love it, it's probably something I suggested that Michael do. And that's <laughs> uh, we'll be go. clear. Um, uh, Ryan did not give me any guidance whatsoever. That's a lie. I gave you the best guidance yesterday. So good. So good. What was that guidance? Shut up. Linux kernel 6.15, Jill. <laughs> yes. Yeah, What's so happening in the Linux kernel? This week? What a transition right there. <laughs> Thank you. Linus Torvalds released Linux kernel 6.15.